Hey guys, it's Blake again. I don't know, maybe again, still, I'm not sure. I had to, I had to step away for a moment um, earlier, uh, probably in the last video, if you're watching this online, uh, something was kind of going on upstairs, and I had to I had to take off. But I'm back. This is another two videos that'll probably come out in one day because the last one was a little short. Um, so anyway, what's been going on? Um, before I came back on to record, I added Blood Imp and I leveled in solo enough to unlock Soulfire. So we've got that. Um, what did I put in for Malchazar's Imp? The second Bone Mare and Blood Reaper. And I'm still not totally sure about that. But we're going to run with it for now. Uh, the other thing that I think I might do, I'm not entirely sure yet, <coughs> is I may craft Darkshire Councilman and replace uh, Flappy Bird with it. But we're going to try Flappy Bird for a little bit, at least. So we're going to run with this list for now. And maybe, hmm, maybe I should set up deck tracker in the next video. <coughs> so we're close to buying another pack. So let's play. So classic, we're going to do classic until we get that legendary. Because we've opened the most classic packs. We got the Frozen Throne legendary. That was our golden Syndragosa. Now, you may be thinking, Blake. I haven't opened a golden Cindergosa or any golden anything. Um, you will, eventually. You'll get a golden legendary. Uh, most of the time... No, kitty. No. Most of the time, with a golden legendary, when you don't have full collection, it's going to be best to disenchant it, as much as that sucks. It's just kind of how it is. <laughs> Unless it's just a really good legendary, you really need to look at some tier lists online and and see what you should be keeping and, and what you should be disenchanting. Oh, there's an arcane shot. <laughs> Straight to the face. Um yeah, well I'll play that. I'll play that. <laughs> it's something to do on turn one. Maybe we coin Hmm. Uh, I'm going to do this. Because <coughs> it'll get buffed, and then I can do this and attack with Tar Creeper. I think that's my line. Unless I draw something else, anyway. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's freezing. Man, that still dies. All right. All right, all right, all right. So Huffer gets soul fired. <coughs> that kind of sucks, but that it's okay. Then we got Serenite next turn. How long can this go on? Indeed. No! <laughs> Man, I wanted one of my Serenite taunts to get buffed. That sucks. That sucks too. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna kill that. And one of those. <coughs> I don't know. Maybe it was better. To kill one of the the cats because it's a beast. 
Are these bees? Those are bees too. Oh no. Okay. So this is when we start wishing that <laughs> that uh, Despicable Dreadlord was not removed. Uh, okay. So we'll play the taunt back out. We need to put some pressure on as soon as we can. <clears throat> so we need to be pressuring like immediately because we will get outvalued. The only thing we can really hope for is like a misplay. Okay. So he trades basically his whole board into that. So I think at this point we do this and hope for no deadly shot. <clears throat> uh, if he doesn't clear, I'm pretty sure we've got lethal. But with his uh, with his death rattles and then his build a beast, he's likely got taunt. Yeah. Okay. So that six here, we'll tap. Um. All right, so I can't do that. Damn. So we just gotta try not to discard Soulfire. And we discarded Soulfire. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. We had a we had a chance there. We couldn't play <coughs> the demon fire with the doom guard. Okay, so he's dead. <laughs> no. There's another game. Anaja. We continue. No kitty. No, no. <clears throat> this is this is going well so far. <clears throat> Some of these games seem a little on edge. <laughs> but then Bone Mare and, and Cobalt comes out and just saves the day. Okay. We don't want any of these cards. <clears throat> we want one and two drops. Man, I've got eight one drops. <laughs> eight in this deck. And I never... Hardly ever draw them. At least we got one there. But then we got nothing for... Well, I guess we got this for two. Like that. That works. Okay. Alright, so we demon fire. Or do we? No. I prefer to get the other body down. If he pings on two, <coughs> he's, first of all, he's likely to use Frostbolt if he's got it, which makes some room for, for Flappy Bird. He 
He still has the coin. So he could fireball Flappy Bird too. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. He's got a lot of cards in hand. He hasn't played anything. He's just been kind of clearing with ping. <laughs> Don't kill my bird, please. Please. Let my bird live. I wonder. I wonder too. Oh yes. Okay. So we de we probably demon fire. What do we do here? Alright, so we demon fire. Do we tap? We tap. Sweet tap. We demon fire. Um, we kill that. That's more important. Win fury. Win R, win R. Uh, plus one, plus one. Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> That's why we play Flappy Bird and maybe not Darkshire Councilman. This is uh this is good study right here. Wow. So, okay, so that's ice barrier. Um, yeah, we'll tap. <laughs> Flappy Bird, go! <clears throat> so he's nowhere close to Flame Strike. Flappy Bird's a 4 7, can't be targeted with Wind Fury. Holy shit. That's what we want. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, that's, that's why we run the Flappy Bird. Nope, nobody. Nobody. <laughs> See now, I don't know, maybe he's just never seen it before or hasn't seen it much. I don't know. Look at his card back. He's been around for a little bit, right? <clears throat> Okay. I think I'm gonna chill for it, mate. We might have lethal. Actually, we do have lethal. Unless that's like a counter spell. It's a nice block. Alright, so we pop the block. Flappy Bird is not dying 
anytime soon. <clears throat> I highly doubt it anyway. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he just couldn't kill Flappy Bird. Maybe he was like, I don't want to do this for a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> I don't want to use my Frost Bolt. And then by the time he was, <laughs> by the time he couldn't be targeted, and he's uh, and he's 4-7 <laughs> with Wind Fury, um, he's like, oh shit. Oh shit. What, what do I do? Because I think, I mean, he's been playing for a little bit, right? He's got the pack card back. Uh, that's at least a couple months, isn't it? Frost Nova. Hmm. <coughs> well, there's the four three gone. So that's good stuff. I'm not worried about my Tar Creeper dying. I don't know. I guess maybe Bone Mare, but it, it doesn't really matter in that situation. There's a Flappy Bird on the, on the board that he just can't can't do anything about. That's that, uh... That's that desperation. Or not desperation, that, uh... That last... Piss on you. Fireball to the face. Okay. So we'll do another... If we get one more... We'll play till we get one more win. And because we get we get ten gold with another win, <coughs> and we can get a pack, we get a classic pack. That's what we want. Yay, druids! All right, so if we can get a one drop, we can get a pretty decent blood imp start here. You know, I've been playing for a while, and I never thought I'd say that. That's, uh... Alright, so we can still get a pretty decent Blood Imp start with this guy. But I would prefer one drop coin, one drop with Blood Imp in hand. Not gonna happen. That's okay. <coughs> so we'll see. We'll see what we draw. If we need to, then... Then we'll Blood Fury. Hmm. Maybe. No. Can't Blood Fury anyway. So we'll see. That's not a very good swipe, so I'm not, like, upset if he swaps this. Alright, so we'll chill. <coughs> no need to attack with that just yet. Okay. Oh, shit. Alright, sweet. <clears throat> it's not a very good swipe either. That's interesting. Um, hmm.
this becomes a 5-4, this becomes a 3-3. Three, three. And then we have to trade here. I think this is better. Okay. Jesus, man. <laughs> and we continue. He sure has a lot of big minions. Alright, we're gonna chill for now. So he's got a pretty decent trade there. Let's see. Alright, we'll see what he does. <clears throat> that deck is probably awful. Another soul fire would be pretty cool. I feel like if we can just clear these couple taunts, we're probably all set. Alright. So. Let's see what we pull here. So that'd be seven. Bone Mare is probably still best. So we clear this. We kill that. And then he has to trade. Oh man. And then he just has two two or two one ones. All these taunts. This is insane. Like it's kind of the the perfect It's kind of perfect game plan to play. Let's see what he does. He's gonna have to continue to trade. <clears throat> but I don't know like how many more taunts I can clear. Alright, so we can't play the flame imp like that. That is a certainty. Okay. So that's gonna be the Neuotron going into that. And then maybe he'll trade the two one ones. We'll see. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trade.
Hmm. I'm gonna tap one more. Probably not again. <clears throat> but at least that time, I think we need we need the cards. Okay. Do I tap again? Hmm. No, probably not. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No tap right now. Because we're probably going to take two. If he has a swipe, he's been holding a card for a long time, so if he has a swipe, we're probably dead. Like, that's almost a certainty. <laughs> hmm, wonder what his play here is. Okay. Alright, so now I'll tap. So we're dead to double swat, but we have lethal otherwise. Okay, maybe we don't. Okay, so we'll kill this guy. Was that wrong, maybe? Hmm. And then, let's see. So we play Gul'dan, like, like, for sure, right? Do we want him to die? We've only played one. So only one will come back. So he loses a lot of power. And we've got quite a bit of taunt up too. Which worked out pretty well. And we're safe. We're pretty safe from fatigue. <laughs> All right. So if we do this. We can do eight. And all right, we'll kill this. Kill this. <coughs> I don't think he can full clear. We're at 13. Okay, there's a swipe. I still don't think that does it.
Yeah. <laughs> that was a. Uh, I don't know. That was a crazy game. I don't know about all that shit, man. Yeah, level 10. Dread Infernal. Yeah, that was kind of nuts. Alright. So, there's our first 100 goal. We got to rank 21 pretty quickly. Um, hmm. So, now, Angoro or Classic? <laughs> I know I said Classic, but... Angoro can be used. Let's just let's just go classic. Let's do each pack until we get a legendary. I think I think that's gonna be best. Not this time. Okay, so we're building up our collection now. So the thing. The, the main thing here is once you get one deck built, you can kind of stop dusting all your cards <laughs> for a moment anyway, and you start building building up a collection until we start building a new deck, and then we'll go back and reevaluate what we have, what we need, what we don't need. But for now, uh, after you get your first good deck built, you just kind of chill. So we played a few games with Fledgling, and so far, it seems to be doing pretty well. Um, I don't know. It, it just... This guy... This guy right here... <coughs> just seems... So good. <laughs> like, he's... He's really, really good. I, I don't know. He has more health. He's harder to deal with. Um, but Fledgling just wins if if he's not removed. If you coin out Fledgling on two or even just play him on three. Or in late game you drop him um, when they're out of answers. I mean, he just he just wins games. Um, I may be a little too heavy on the top end here. I don't know. I mean, top end being like five mana plus. Um, I got six five drops. Yeah. Plus bone mare, or plus two bone mares. Mm. We want these four for sure. I think we'll stick with what we've got for now. It seems to be going pretty well. I just think it might it might struggle with aggro a little bit more as we start to rank up. So maybe we tech it a little bit differently. Um, but I mean, it's, it seems to be doing okay so far. I'm not entirely sure about blood imp. Um, something like possessed villager could be okay in that spot but blood imp does give us health buffs and with blood fury potion along with demon fire um, it's a pretty good one drop I don't like that it only becomes a 2-3 if you play it with demon fire but with when it's a 3-4 with blood fury potion it's pretty awesome so I like that crystal weaver uh, the couple times I've actually played him seems to be doing okay um, probably one of the weakest slots because I don't have Malkazar's Imp, but Gul'dan just, just ran the show for us in that last game, so that's, that's good so far. We're, we're off to a good start. Um, we've got a day to get to rank 20 so we can get some ranked rewards going, so that's going to be, uh, the goal tomorrow, because tomorrow's Halloween. Uh, we're going to jump up get to rank 20 and go as far as we can from there that's that's what I'm gonna be doing and then tomorrow evening I'll probably switch to my main account and rank up there as well but for right now for right now this is where we're at we're in a pretty good spot we got to rank 21 extremely fast in just four wins um, or four straight wins right or three so rank 21, uh, one more win will be rank 20, and then we'll go from there. I think we can get rank 15 plus pretty easy. Um, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It just depends on how much time I have. But anyway, the point is, it's going well. We're doing good. This is going to be a good run. Um, it's going to be a good account. We've got it. We've got a good deck starting out, and we can start building from here. And this is kind of the point that I wanted to make, is that we can, you rush 
you rush to a good tempo deck, a good fast deck. It doesn't have to be like full on aggro, but a good fast deck that will grind your games out quickly. And then you build your entire Hearthstone collection off of that. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to see just how fast we can do it. Um, I've helped a few people do the same thing, but I want to see how quick we can, we can really do it when we really try. That's going to be it for today. And I will see you guys next time.